thank you for watching this video. So in this video, we're doing two of number 22 the frequency of mathematics paper one, and these are cumulative frequencies. So I'll start with I'll read question two statement, then proceed to answer the questions that follow. So let's go. At a certain school, the staff committee wanted to determine how many glasses of water the staff members drank during a school day. All teachers present on a specific day were interviewed. The information is shown in the table below. Let's read this again. At a certain school, the staff committee wanted to determine how many glasses of water the staff members drank during the school day. All teachers present on a specific day were interviewed. The information is shown in the table below. So, as they say, like the staff committee wanted to understand, wanted to know how many glasses of water the staff members were drinking each day. And they interviewed the present teachers at that school on that day. So this, in this table here shows the information or the answers of those teachers. Okay, so now on this column here, we have the number of glasses of water that were drank by the teachers the day, right? And here we have the number of staff members. So if you look at this table, you see that here we have five teachers that drank less than two glasses of water a day. So either they drank one glass of water or they, it's either they drank one glass of water or, they, or nothing, right? Then here you have 15 teachers. 15 teachers here, they drank less than four glasses of water, right? But at least two glasses of water. So these 15 teachers that are here, or these 15 staff members, they drank uh, at least two glasses of water, but less than four glasses of water. Okay, so we come here. Here on this row here, we have 13 staff members, right? They drank at least four glasses of water, but less than six glasses of water, right? And here we have five teachers again. They drank at least six glasses at least six glasses of water but less than eight glasses of water and then the last part we have two teachers those two teachers they drank at least eight glasses of water but less than ten glasses of water a day that's the information that they've given us i'm sure you you understand it by now okay now let's go to 2.1 complete the cumulative frequency column provided in the table in the answer book so they wanted to, 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 to create a, or complete the cumulative frequency uh, column. Okay, so now you have completed your table, right? So now what you need to find, you need to find the cumulative frequency, which is also known as a running total. So why is it called the running total? It's because you want to know the total at a specific point in time, right? Or at a specific position. So, let's look at this. So now, you want the cumulative frequency which is the same as your running total, right? So you want to know, at this point, because you know here, all the, all the students that are, all the people, that, all the staff members that are here, right? They drank at least, or uh, less than two glasses of water, right? So at this point, they drank less than two glasses, they drank less than two glasses of water. So you want to know how many staff members drank less than two glasses of water. How many are they? There's five of them. So you put your five there. Done. Next, go to the next one. So at this point, you want to know how many staff members drank less than four glasses of water. You know that there's 15 from here. And also there's a five from there because that five drank less than two glasses of water, which is also less than four. So if you want to know how many, how many staff members in total drink less than four glasses of water, you must add all of these guys. So to find the cumulative frequency, you're running total at this point. So it should be what? It should be five. That's 15, which is 20. So at this, at this point, the running total is 20, which means there are 15, 20 staff members that drank less than, 
have drank less than four glasses of water. Then we go to the next one. I want to know how many staff members drank less than six glasses of water. So you know you had this 13 here. These ones, you know that they drank less than 13 glasses of water. So you had that 13, right? And you had that 15 as well because this 15, they drank less than 4, which is also less than 6. So you have 15 and also that 5 as well. What gives you? It gives you 33. So what does that tell you? It tells you that up to this point, there are 33 staff members that drank less than 6 glasses of water. It's the running total. Go to the next one. How many drank less than 8 glasses of water? Which is we must add this to all of those. It's, it's, it's these guys because, you know, these five people, they drank less than 8 glasses of water. Together with those ones above them, on the rows above them. So it should be like, you know, you know in total above you have 33 plus 1 plus 5. Just give you 38. Right? And then you want to know how many drank less than 10 glasses of water. How many drank less than 10 glasses of water? You know, it's going to be these two guys, they drank less than 2 glasses of water. Together with all those above them, because all those above them, they drank less than 10 as well, because this was less than 8, less than 6, less than 4, less than 2. So, the people that drank less than uh, 10 glasses of water, there is 40 of them. Because it would be what? It would be a 2 plus your 38 others that are above. So you will have 40 people. Very 40 people. We're done. So, in, in, in simple terms, all of them, they drank less than 10 glasses of water. All of them. And which means, if you're saying all of them drank less than 10 glasses of water, then this is everyone that is there. So you have 40 staff members that were present on the day. That's what the, this thing means. Because you're saying, this is the very, very highest number of glasses, or close to the highest number of glasses that you can, that your teachers drank per day, right? Because it's not, it's very close to, it's not included. So, So, in total, you have 40 staff members that were present on that day because all of them, they drank less than 10 glasses of water per day. And that is all of them. So, let's go to the next question. 2 point, or this was 2.1. Or maybe, let me write it here, 2.1. So, 2.2, write as follows. How many staff members were interviewed? Like I just said, there were 40 staff members that were interviewed. There were 40 staff members. Why? Because I say, all of these people, right, they drank, all of these people here, they drank less than 10 glasses of water. Right? So, your running total, which is your cumulative frequency there, is all of them that drank less than 10 glasses of water. So, there should be 40. So, yeah, there were 40 staff members that were present on that day. Move to 2.3. What are they saying in 2.3? How many staff members drank fewer? Oh, sorry. 2.3 readers follow. How many staff members drank fewer than six glasses of water during during a school day? Let's read that again. They're asking how many staff members drank fewer than six glasses of water during a school day. They're asking how many staff members that drank less than few glasses, that drank less than six glasses of water a day. So I just said here, all these ones, they drank less than six glasses of water per day. And all these ones, they drank less than eight glasses of water per day. So these guys here, the 33 guys, they drank less than six glasses of water a day. So it's 33 staff members that drank less than six glasses of water a day. I hope that does make sense. So, we move to 2.4. Right? 
That's saying now, 2.4. The staff committee observed that K teachers were absent on the day, on the day of the interviews. Alright? It is found that half of the K teachers drank from zero to fewer than two glasses of water per day. While the remainder of them drank from four to fewer than six glasses of water per day. When these K teachers were included in the data set, the estimated mean is four glasses per day, per staff member per day. Okay, let me try to read this again. They're saying the staff committee observed that K teachers were absent on the day of the interviews. It is found that half of those K teachers drank from zero to fewer than two glasses of water per day, while the remainder of them drank from four to fewer than six glasses of water per day. When the K teachers are included in the data set, the estimated mean is four glasses of water per staff member per day. So what they're asking is how many teachers were absent on the day of the interview? Okay. So, they are saying now, let me try to fix this. So, we have five teachers here. Alright. Here is 20. I'll just write 20. Here is 33. Alright. 33. Here is 38. Here is 40. Okay. So, we know that from our original statement that 40 people were interviewed, right? So, on the day, uh, the staff committee interviewed uh, 40, 40 staff members, 40 people, or 40 staff members. So, but others were upset, right? How many were upset? 40k people were upset. So that's what they are telling us. And they are telling us that 40 people were interviewed, right? And K people were absent on the day on the, of the interview. Right? So they are telling us now, out of these K people, half, half of these K people, which is half K, they drank uh, water glasses of water that are, are less than are, are from zero to two right this is the first half right of those people and the other half of those K people they drank how many glasses of water they drank um, glasses of water that are glasses of water how many glasses are those there are at least four less than six. So you're told that the school committee um, interviewed 40 people on the day and you're told that K people were absent on the day of the interview. Right? And then now we're told from those K people, half of them, they drink this number of uh, water, they drink this number of glasses of water. They, or the number of glasses of water they drink a day falls on this interval and the other half falls on that interval. For example, if we say now 20 people are absent on that day, right? We know half of them is 10 and the other half is 10 as well because it's 20, so half, 10, 10. So you, that, what you know is that 10 of them belong to this group, right? Which is 10 of them drank less than 2 glasses of water, which is they belong to this class here. Right? And you know that another 10 belongs to which class? Which is this class? With this class here, which is that. Right? Okay, no problem. But now we have that K people were not present on that day. And half of those K people belong to this class, which means half of them is here. So half of that K people belong to this class. 
and the other half is in this interval here, which is belongs to this glass. So, what does that mean? It means that from your dead, your K people that are not up, that were absent on that day, their half belongs here and their half belongs there. Right? We done that. Fine. So what else did they tell you? They told you that if when you bring these 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 K people in, right, you know that you get an average of what? Of four glasses per, per staff member per day. Right? And you know to calculate your average because of the sum of your of your entries by the number of entries. Right? No problem. So uh, we want our average now. So our average. Okay. Our, so now we need to find we want to find our, our average. So we must know the entries that we are talking about. Right? Want to know what the entries that we are talking about. So uh, what do we do? How do we get this? So to find our average. We'll say now, um, we have five people, oh, sorry, we have five plus half, uh, plus half K people here on this, in the, on this cell here, right? How many glasses of water are they drinking? They are drinking less than two glasses of water. So, which means, let me just do this. Uh, first, uh, I'll say first of all, right? Okay. So you are saying on the, on the let's look on the first row, right? You are saying that you have uh, five plus half k people, right? These are the number of people. These people of yours, how many glasses of water are they drinking? The glass of water they are drinking is. Uh, is, is less than two, but greater than equal to zero. Those are the number of glasses that they are drinking a day. Right? These are the number of these number of people, which is this K plus half K people, drink water, a glass of water that are falls on this interval. Right? So now, on average, right? On average, this number of people, you say think how many, if the number of glasses that are drank by these people. Right? Is in this interval. What would we say is the number of like, average number of glasses of that each person drink here? So to find that average, we we'll say okay, um, my average would be what? It would be two plus zero over two, which is equal to one. So what does that mean? It means on average, each person here drinks one glass of water. Right? Can do that for the second, for the second row, which is this one here. You say how many people do we have? We have 15 people there. Now I'll say second row. How many people do we have? We have 15 people there, right? We have 15 people. How many glasses of water are they drinking? The glasses that they are drinking are at least two glasses of water, but less than four glasses of water, right? So, these 15 people, they are drinking at least 2 glasses of water, but less than 4 glasses of water. So, on average, each person there drinks how many glasses of water? Each person there drinks an average glass of water, average glass of water, which is 4 plus 2 uh, divided by 2, which is 3. So, it means that each person there, each of these 15 people on average, drinks 3 glasses of water. That's what that means. It means each of these 15 people, each of these 15 people on average drinks three glasses of water. That's an average. Then you go to the fourth row, to the third row. So the third row, uh, how many people do you have? You have uh, 13 plus half K people here. How many glass, uh, how glasses of water do you drink? They drink at least four glasses of water, but less than six. So on average, right? 
each person, each of these 13 plus cake people, they drink 6 plus 4 glasses of water over 2. So, which is what? Which is 5 glasses of water. You continue doing this, you will see that for the fourth row, for the fourth row, uh, how many people you have? You have five people, right? For the fourth row, how many glasses of water do they drink? Um, they drink uh, at least six, right? But less than eight. Eight, which means on average, each person drinks how much? Seven glasses of water. Then you go to the fifth row, one, two, three, four, five. On the fifth row, On the fifth row, um, uh, how many people do you have? You have two people there. How many glasses of water do they drink? They drink at least eight, or less than ten glasses of water. So, which is on average, people here, they drink uh, nine glasses of water, the same way we did that one. So now, we have, we know how much each person, on average, drinks on each of those intervals there. So we can come back here and say, okay, our mean is equal to uh, the entries over this. So what is your mean? Your mean is four glasses of water. It's equal to add this, right? So when you add this, you say, uh, you say five plus half K people. They drink how many glasses of water? They drink one. Plus what? Go to the next. 15 people, right? Each of them was drinking, uh, were drinking three glasses of water. Plus, next. Uh, you had 13 plus half K people. Each one of them on that interval were drinking how many glasses of water? We're drinking. Um, this one, five glasses of water. Plus, go to the next one, the fourth one. You had how many people there? On the fourth row, you had how many people? You had five people on the fourth row, right? So five. How many glasses of water were they drinking? Seven. Plus, on the fifth row, how many people were there? You had two people there. How many glasses of water? You drink nine glasses of water. So this is your sum of all your entries, all divided by the number of entries, total number of entries. So if you add all of these, you got you, when you add it all the red ones, you got it was 40, right? Then plus k, the new ones that you added. So the total number of people there, you have 40 plus k people. Then the next thing that you should do, you should just Simplify, solve this thing, right? You say, cross multiply this times that, you have 4 into 40 plus k is equal to, what is this? This times that this is 5 plus half k. Multiply this bracket out, go to the next one. 15 times 3. What is 15 times 3? This is 45 plus, yeah, this is 45 plus. What do we get now? Get 13 times 5. So 13 times 5. 13 times 5 is 65. So say 65 plus, because you multiply this and that, so you got 15 and a half K. So 15 times 3, you got 45. So 5 times 13, right? It's 65, right? And 5 times, 5 times half K. So it will be 5 over 2k, right? Plus, what is 5 times 7? 5 times 7 is 35. This is 35. Plus the last one, which is 18. All over nothing, because now cross multiplied it. So you simplify this, say 40 times 4, which is like 160, plus 4k. Is equal to? Add the like terms this, 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 and that. What do you say? Say 5 plus 45 plus 
35, plus 35, plus 18. We get 168. And then we have k, half k plus 5 over 2k. So we have half plus 2.5. So we have plus 3k. So you, trans you solve 2k, you solve, transpose the 3k. So we have 4k minus 3k is equal to 168 minus 160. So k is equal to 8. So which means 8 teachers were absent on the day in which the interviews were conducted. So you had 8 teachers that were absent on that day. So I think this is how to do this question. I hope it does make sense and it's clear to you as it is to